Hello, my name is Jason Miller with Alex Now Solutions. Um, I'd like to thank everyone, uh, all of my 90 subscribers here. I'm very proud to announce we have 90 subscribers, and we're up to a little bit over 2,500 views. Uh, this is a channel where we try to unlock the, the power of ServiceNow. Um, today, what I'd like to do is focus in on a couple of comments, or at least one comment in particular. Um, there's a question asked on the site of, uh, Alex, my question is when we change the priority, let's say from high to low, and I want the new SLA to start from the date of creation of incident, what can I use? Um, first off, I'd like to apologize um, for taking so long to respond to this. I've been studying for this very intense exam, which I'm happy to say I finally passed. Um, so now we can move on to the, the solution, um, which I've crafted here. I, I did respond, but I wanted to get this documented in, in, in the form of a video, just in case other users are having the same issue. So uh, I created a, the high and the low um, priority SLAs. Um, we'll notice here that our P2 SLA um, has a duration of about five minutes. Uh, you know, obviously yours is probably going to be a little bit different. And I did no schedule because it's running on uh, 24 by 7. Um, at least that was kind of the, uh, the requirement that I anticipated. Um, priority is set to 2. Um, and here, uh, this was part of the question too. We want a retroactive start to set the start to the creator. And what that does is it takes um, the created date and time, um, that timestamp, and it puts it in the start um, time for the SLA. So remember that the SLA is just a task that's running. And it's running um, according to the parameters of the engine um, and saying, okay, here are the different things that we need to do. So this is one of the, one of the parameters we set. Um, I covered the retroactive start in another video. So if you want more explanation about that, um, you can go to that video. Um, also, what I covered in another video, which is really important to get an understanding of, is default versus simple and how it affects the behavior of the, the SLA because they're fundamentally different. I can't stress enough how important that is. I've also created the P4 SLA definition, so if we want, we can go take a peek at that and see how it's different. Now remember, when whenever you're doing priority, chances are that the, uh, the amount of time and the schedule is going to be different then, you know, like a one is going to be different than a two, and maybe three and four are the same. It just depends on how um, your organization structures their SLAs. So you're probably going to have to make, I don't know, four, three, four of these things, um, even though the, the start conditions might be the same, except for the priority. Um, so uh, one thing we can do also right now is I can show you how to make these things a little bit faster. So if you're not familiar with insert and stay, I'm just going to show you right now how to use that function. So I'm just going to change this to P3 SLA. Um, and I'm going to change the amount of hours, because as I said before, the, uh, the duration is going to be a little bit different. Also, maybe our schedule is different too. So this is our 7 to 7 during weekdays. Um, let's see if we have something that's a little bit more generous. Let's say we want 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. weekdays only. And again, I have a video on that too, how to create the schedules and how they can impact the SLAs. Um, we'll notice here though, it still says P4 SLA. So what do we want to do? Go to our little hamburger menu and we're going to hit insert and stay. And now in the banner here, we'll see it updated to P3. So right now what I'll do is I'll flip over to incident and I'll show you how these, uh, these SLAs are going to function. Um, Let's go over here. I already have one open. So I'm going to click or type in here incident.do, which I've already done. And what that'll do is it'll bring up a fresh new incident form. Your form might look this way, it might not. Um, one thing I wanted to, to mention also, uh, we should back up here for a second, take a look at our stop condition. The state is resolved. So when it goes into resolved status or state, um, it, it, it's going to terminate the SLA or just, just mark it completed. Now one thing you're going to want to get a good handle on is the difference between resolved and closed. Um, if you look at the notes here, um, we'll get to this in a second, if we look at the, the notes for the release of Kingston, which is the version that I'm using, I highlight it right here, the incident auto closure property. Now this is when your 
incident has been in resolve status for, here it says seven days, um, it'll automatically move to close. So and if you wanted more information, then you would go to the incident management properties right here. And this tells you uh, the name of the feature and then the, you know, how it works and everything. Now, if we want to go find that in the actual tool itself, um, I just typed in dent prop and it brought up the incident properties. And now here we'll see the number of days after which resolved incidents are automatically closed. So I have it set at one. You might want to check this out in your instance. So, because some people will, in their SLA definition, they'll put down closed or resolved or whatever it is. So um, you're definitely going to want to have a, a very um, clear definition communicated to um, the people at the CIO level on how it works and maybe even your customers. So let's go ahead and open up our uh, priority four. And one thing also to note is that your impact and urgency, at least out of the box, these will, will dictate what happens to the priority. So as I move these higher, um, we're going to see the priority change. So if I wanted to figure out um, how that um, is, is influencing the priority, one thing you could do is go to incident.config. So fast today. So let's see our configurations for incident. And here we'll see our business rules, client scripts, um, UI actions, UI policies. So it just depends. It's somewhere in here. Um, if you go ahead and search for it, maybe the word priority, whatever. Um, you know, if you want to do for text, and then and then find which of those or you know which which of these line items um, in one of these tabs um, is influencing that. So maybe I'll cover that in another segment. But, but for right now, we're just going to answer the question that was posted on the site. So here we have a priority two of high. And now we're going to save our incident. And down here, our task SLA pops up. We have a P2 in progress. OK. So now the um, question was, OK, so now if it changes to a P3, it should open up um, another one, cancel this one out, but the start time should be the same. It should be the created date. So let's go ahead and change these to, to get these two. I don't know, maybe we have priority three. Now let's do the priority four since we wanted the low, right? Oh, that's a little bit too low. Let's see, here we go. Okay, so we have priority four low. Ah, it looks like we had uh, the three open up too. Oh, and that's one thing also that we didn't do, right? So uh, I made a big boo-boo there. Uh, why did both of these open up? And you know what? This is a great lesson to be learned right now because I was so quick to change uh, and rename the SLA definition. And this is kind of common too, especially if you're working on the fly using that insert and stay. Um, but you know what I didn't change? The priority. So let's go back here. Go back to our start condition, and now we can change this to three. And now let's see if it has any effect. Maybe I did this on purpose just to test this out. Um, now let's see if it has any effect on the SLAs that are running. So let's reload this form. Okay, it looks like our three is still running. So what we would have to do is run something called SLA repair um, in order to, to have this one canceled out. So let's take this from the top again and see if both fire again. Incident do. We're just going to check our SLA here just to make sure this has been saved. I'm going to save it one more time just to make sure. Now let's do this again. So now we're going to have, yeah, let's run it on our priority four. Just gonna make sure you have this a brand new one. And I can't stress enough how um, uh, how good it is to make mistakes in development <laughs> and not in production. So this is exactly why we're doing this. Oh, and now we see that nothing's open. Oh, because our here we go, our priority was automatically defaulted. Now remember that um, I stated before the impact on urgency. Um, 
dictates this priority. So hopefully now, now we'll get some action. Down there on the SLA. All right, P4 SLA in progress. Great. So two didn't fire, only that one fired, which is good. Now, let's see if we can make this a three. And let's see if it fires. And remember, we want the created date, the same time stamp uh, for the start time. So see how they're exactly the same? And the, the one that was running was canceled. So this is good. Now, if we change it to a two, let's see if we can do that. There we go to our high. All right, let's scroll down. And let's see, where's our two? Right here on progress. Uh, again, same start time, so we're good. Notice the business elapsed time uh, is different. Why? Remember, we have different schedules. The two uh, is running 24-7. Right, and then these guys are running off of different schedules that are only on the weekdays. Today is Sunday, so they won't count towards your business elapsed time. I think I have another segment there where I talk about how the schedules have an impact on that stuff, so uh, you might want to go check that out. All right, so that concludes um, this segment for today. Um, again, my name is Jason Miller. Um, I'm the founder of Alex Now Solutions, where we try to unlock the power of service now. This is my LinkedIn page if you want to connect. Um, sometimes I, I post stuff here um, on the LinkedIn page um, to, to get the word out and, of course, on the ServiceNav community. All right. Thank you and have a